Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to download the data from your CA8345 using our PAT3 software. That said, let's get started. So I'm now going to show you how to download the data from the CA8345 onto your PC using the PAT3 software. Obviously, the first step is to go to our .co.uk website, go to the CA8345 page and scroll down to the support tab at the bottom. In there, you will see a download file for the PAT3 software. Download and unzip that file and install the software. Once you've done that, you should be looking at a screen similar to what I've got here. Obviously, then we need to connect the instruments, which I've shown in a previous video. And now we can have a look at actually downloading the data. So if we connect the instruments, we can see that we're actually connected up and we can see that we've got the little green tick there. And directly below the instrument name, we've actually got a list of recorded sessions. So that will tell you, it'll read the data off the SD card of the instrument and it will actually tell you what sessions are available. So in this case, you can see that we've got alarm sessions, we've got a couple of inrush sessions, we've got a photograph that we obviously captured a screenshot. Um, we've also got a transient session and a couple of trends. So all of that data is there. And if we want to actually look into that in more detail, we can actually see that listed below. So if we wanted to see a trend, for example, we can go into the trends section and we can see the two trends that are listed there and actually go into those trends. Now these are very short trends because these were just ones that I recorded as a sample while doing the data. So to have a look at some better data, I've actually imported one of our sample files below. So we can simply do that by clicking open and that will give us the option there to look for and open a saved file. So in this case, we've got trends here. And if I look at the sample trend that we've got below, we can see that we've actually got a bit more data here to play with. Now, looking on the right hand side, we actually have options at the top here to view all of the different data available. So for example, we've got RMS data, frequency, power factor, power energy, and loads more besides. So what we can do with those, if we just stick simply to RMS, we can then pick what RMS data do we want to see. So U is the voltage between phases, V is the voltage to earth or the voltage to neutral, I is the current, and then L1, L2, L3 gives us the voltage and current for a particular phase, and obviously neutral gives us the details for the neutral. So if we wanted a simple current trace, we could just click on current, and that will just show us the current data for the logging session. And that will be displayed at the bottom here, and it's an auto-ranging scale. We can see also the written data listed here. So A1 RMS is obviously the RMS current on L1, L2, L3, and the neutral, so on. So if we just wanted to see L1, we can click just on that value, and that will isolate just that trace there for us. Now, if we wanted to use the cursor, the cursor is the red line that can be seen here. So if I wanted to actually see what happened when we got this bit of a dip in current here, I can actually look at that value and that will tell me the cursor values on here. So I can see the cursor values there, and I can also see at the bottom here, the exact time when that particular event happened. So then I can see when it started, when it stopped, and that allows me to do further analysis. So on here, we can see the graphical data. We can also click to see the, uh, the numbers as well. We can actually see the, the actual number data there as well, if we wanted to get into the weeds and actually see what's going on with that. Other things that are available on here, we can look at the maximum and minimum data, so that will be displayed as the max min values, or we can just look at the actual average values across the period of time, depending on how detailed we want to get into it, we can look at that data. If I click on the little eye symbol as well, it tells us a little bit about the actual capture event as well. For example, the sensor ratios that we used and various parameters that were set along with the CT and the range that was used to capture that current. So that's a simple trend log. We can also look at other data such as transients. So if we wanted to actually look in here and see a particular transient, we can look at the events that are listed on here. So we can go to a specific event and that will show us the transient event. And we can also use the controls on here to zoom in or zoom out to actually get specifically to more detail. And as we said before, we can actually filter 
to see exactly what was going on during these events. Similar with inrush current, again we can actually see an inrush trace. Any photographs that were taken, so these would be screen captures. So you have the option to take a screen capture by simply pressing the photograph button on the instrument at any time and it will carry out a screen capture for you. And a monitoring event, if we have actually carried out a monitor to um, EN50160, that will actually show us the details of the monitoring event. And as you're aware, a monitoring event contains all sorts of data, so it's a combination of slow variations, trends, rapid voltage changes, long and short term interruptions, dip swells, and so on. So all of those can be seen, again, by simply clicking on the appropriate value and viewing it in the viewing pane on the right hand side and it will give us the details of those events. Thank you for watching the video. Hopefully now you can see how easy it is to download your data from the CA8345. If you've liked this video, please pop down and give us a like below. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe to our channel. And if you want more information, please drop us a message in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.